What's up YouTube? I'm Daniel and I'm back with my next video and in this video, I'll be introducing a new move to earn NFT game called Step N. Let's jump right in. Step N is a new NFT move to earn game. So if you actually go to Google and make a quick search and type in Step N, this is the landing page that you're supposed to get into and you'll see that it is a web 3 lifestyle app with social fire and game fire elements and how you play this game is that players can make handsome earnings by walking jogging or running outdoors so you earn and you play the game by doing physical activities outdoors there are currently a few games that have a move to earn kind of concept there aren't very many just yet and honestly because this is so new we are not sure how this will turn out whether this game will be very popular or whether it will take off but currently it is at the starting stage on this landing page it actually tracks all the uh, distances run by all of its members come out of that is one of the endeavors that they are trying to uh, work for they're saying that hey you know if you work out you act and do some physical activities or even like convert your daily commute uh, into a form of a walk right they will actually take some of the earnings to purchase a carbon offset and more of that later on through all these physical activities you also uh, burn some calories because they track their discord members to see how big the community is both on discord and on twitter and actually if you are watching this video the current number of twitter followers is at 91,000. they actually have a giveaway of three sneaker nfts when they reach 100,000 to its twitter followers and so if you are still watching this early go check them out on twitter you can find out more about the giveaway on their twitter account and maybe you'll be one of the lucky winners who win some of the nft right and so you can just check out the roadmap uh, this is actually a very new nft game uh, it started its conception in august 2021 Currently now we are in the first quarter of 2022, right? Just last December, they have just opened up the game for public beta testing, right? So as of currently, not all the game features are available because it's still in the public beta phase, right? And they are collecting data from all the public users uh, and trying to optimize and enhance the game for future development. They have just completed an in-app trade function, an in-app marketplace. In March, they had an IDO or, or IEO of their GMT token on binance this game has been featured in many places uh, as you can see you can check out the the team that is behind this game if you look at the backers you have really big names in the crypto vc sphere uh, sequoia capitals foilers ventures you have sonora ventures you have alameda research and many other things as well right if you don't already know but just by looking at the vcs actually you will realize that many of these are solana related venture capital funds and you might have guessed this game step n is actually built on the solana blockchain step n is a web3 lifestyle app with social fi and game fi elements users equipped with nft sneakers walk jog or run outdoors to earn gst which can be used to level up and mint new sneakers like we mentioned uh they have social fi elements it has game fi element and these two elements will actually promote others to join in for the fun and to promote others to actually join in for the physical exercise the way to play this game is actually through physical exercise to walk, to jog, or to run outdoors. And you earn tokens, and these tokens are called GST. They are actually two tokens, but the first token uh, as introduced, it is GST, which can be used to level up and mint new sneakers. And leveling up your sneakers will actually increase uh, the, its attributes, and its attributes will actually then affect the rate of which you are able to earn the in-game tokens GST. And also this GST will be used to mint new sneakers. Players can choose to lease or sell their NFT sneakers on the in-app marketplace. Currently, the feature to lease uh, NFT sneaker has not been released. So currently, you can only sell your NFT sneaker on the in-app marketplace. And yes, you are able to cash out your GST earnings that are accumulated in the in-app wallet and you can swap them out for USDC. Actually, there are many other mechanics on the game you have the nft gem socket which can actually give a boost to some of the attributes you have the rental system which you mentioned that will be released later on you'll be able to mint new sneakers and sell them on the marketplace or use them for yourself and later on there will be an nft achievement badge which you can earn by completing tasks or challenges right and uh, this app actually aims to be the leading web 3 health and fitness app 
and their profit uh, strategy is actually taxation from transactions uh, transactions uh, due to in-app activities such as nft trading shoe minting and shoe rental all assets in the step n app are owned by individual users and majority of the earnings in app are made by users most of the assets in the games are actually nfts right the shoe is nft later on you see the gems are nfts the coins are actually crypto tokens uh, which you can hold in your wallet so what the app tries to do is to promote carbon neutrality by physical activity and they say that a portion of their profit will be going towards buying carbon removal credit on the blockchain to combat climate change and so there is actually a green environmental cause to this blockchain nft game they hope that everybody will be able to play this game by gamification and move to earn as a core mechanic. A step N can actually nudge millions to embrace a healthier lifestyle. And honestly, I think this is uh, quite a good draw to bring in more users into the crypto sphere and perhaps even to NFT gaming. The app also hopes to achieve zero entry barrier as it does not require people to own NFT assets to move to earn. As a feature that they will be rolling out later, instead they can rent them for free from other users to get started with the earnings split later. So you don't actually need to buy an NFT or own a shoe to start earning. If you are just a runner who runs a lot, you can just hop onto the app to rent a shoe and earn just purely from running they're trying to also make it an easy experience for non-crypto natives basically people who aren't really into crypto to learn how to use a decentralized wallet how to be on an nft marketplace and perhaps this will be a good motivation for them to take their first step into the web 3 world right and so they hope to inspire millions to a healthier lifestyle to connect them to web 3 and combat climate change like i mentioned it's actually a two token economy so you have the gst which is unlimited supply and you have the second token called the gmt which has a fixed supply of 6 billion the gmt token is actually a governance token and some of its utility is not fully released yet it will be coming soon as the game develops currently the game is still in beta phase and gst is actually the utility token it runs the in-game economy where you need gst to perform the different functions the brief overview of the tokenomics of the app is that you can buy the shoe the sneaker you can move to earn the tokens and actually you can swap these in-game tokens to uh, other cryptocurrencies other stable coins like usdc and actually cash them out from the exchange another way if you choose not to buy the nft to participate in the economy you can participate through renting from the owner renting the shoe from an owner and then you can just focus on moving and running and you can earn a share of the tokens that are earned when you exercise and similarly you're able to accumulate this token in your in-app wallet and then swap them out for some stable coins and then cash them out as your profits part of this in-game economy is that they will need these tokens to perform the different functions and by performing such functions you actually burn the tokens uh, the silver tokens are gst and so you need gst for sneaker repair sneaker socket unlocking leveling up of sneakers and mystery box boosting later on there'll be a customization function and you can do so by burning gmt you'll need to level up sneakers using gst and gmt you only need gmt when your shoe is really high level if you are just a beginner in the game, you only need to have GST. You also need GST for shoe minting. You also need GST to upgrade gems. Here, GMT is used for rare shoe minting. GMT is also used for high quality gem upgrades. The current roadmap is that we are in March 2022, and currently they have the IEO or IDO of their GMT token. Uh, on the major exchange Binance, they are actually in the process of upgrading their wallet to simplify the process where new users need to go through to buy their uh, sneakers on the marketplace. Right, so if you're interested, do click the link or search on your uh, app store to download the mobile app and start playing the game. Like the video and subscribe to the channel to be notified of any subsequent videos that I'll be uploading with regards to the Step N app. And with that, see you next time.